Can you talk a little about how you guys, uh, how Harmonix has worked with Disney and connected the scope of Fantasia from the film side into the interactive side and having their background with music video games? It's, it's definitely been a very long process. It's been very uh, open on both sides. I mean, obviously Harmonix brings a tremendous experience to the table in terms of music gameplay itself and how to control music and how to play with music. And I think we spent a lot of time in the Disney archives really sort of diving into the notebooks and journals and, and artwork that was created for the film, you know, most of which has never been seen by the public. And it was really that interaction of, of uh, very precise technical gaming experience and the original aspirations of Disney himself that led us to where we are today. And for us, it's, it's really about extending that notion of motion to the player and really changing the framework from sitting quietly watching the artistry of others and, and moving into a more dynamic, active space where your creativity, your imagination are just as important. There's a, a, probably multiple generations of kids that never experienced the original Fantasia. Are you guys connecting in any way through the video game back to that original film? We actually do, particularly in the classical pieces. We have some like Knights on Bald Mountain, which we've shown today, is actually part of the original film. So we've gone back and actually picked pieces that were that would be familiar for people who love the film itself, maybe looking at them in a very different way. But there's certainly not. And really the heart of it is based on Sorcerer's Apprentice, which is probably the most well-known segment of the film itself, where Mickey Mouse is the Sorcerer's Apprentice, gets up to all kinds of mischief. And for us, the central idea is he dreamt of conducting the very heavens and oceans, just standing on the rock, conducting the universe. And that's really the heart of our, our, uh, our own kind of concept for the story, is that you're not Mickey, you're the Sorcerer's Apprentice. It's your opportunity to stand on the rock and conduct the heavens. What do you think it is about the concept of Fantasia that has the original that survived for so long, they did the 2000 version back then, and then now the video game version? But it was, was conceived of as a living, breathing entity. I mean, Walt's original idea was to cycle new pieces into Fantasia year by year and keep it alive. Unfortunately, you know, events conspired to, to not allow that to happen. But we approached it almost as if it had. You know, we kind of, what if? You know, people have been creating new music and new segments all of this time, you know, 75 years between the film and where we are today. And that was really our jumping off point. You know, it's really sort of taking that, it's a wonderfully open-ended concept, which is just about simply taking, you know, image and movement and sound and music and putting them together and, and seeing what, you know, what magic occurs when that happens. Cool. And then just for my editor, just spell your name so I got it. Yeah, it's Christopher Nichols, Christopher as in Christopher. Uh, Nichols, N-I-C-H-O-L-L-S. -L -L